Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other, and uh, this subject came up, and I happen to have this postcard from uh, Choirs when living in Okinawa, and it's of a superhero. How many people remember this one? You got, got him taking on a one of the villains, one of the, one of the many villains that they had on the show. This show was on Sunday nights between 1971 and 1972. And I'm going to play the theme song of this and see if you can figure out what the name of this superhero is. I found out that that name we were trying to figure out all over the years was Mirror Man. That's what the name of the superhero was, and it was it was like like other superhero shows we used to watch on Okinawa. It was in Japanese. You couldn't understand the what they were saying, but you could easily just by watching it figure out the plot. I did see that on, on YouTube that Mirror Man has been subtitled into English, so now you can. I, I have watched some some episodes of it. It's kind of kind of interesting to go back in time and, wa and watch these things. And back when we lived in Okinawa, we we had a black and white television. You get to see these things in color finally. It's pretty cool. But there were other shows as well. You had Spectre Man. You had um, Common Lida, of course. That was that was very. Common writer that it was like they said Lida in, in Japanese, and there were there were there were many yeah, Common Lida V three different versions of of Common Lida, and there were many other superheroes as well. Some of these were actually cartoons. This one was actually was actually films, and. They had Lion Man, that was another one. Kikaida, bottom one. Yeah, just just to, just to name a few. I'm sure over the years, I, I mean, we came to Okinawa in 1971. That's when I first saw all these shows. And I'm sure over the years, there's been many more. And I'm sure there, there still are. I did see that there are numerous versions of Common Lida over the years. Looking up a little bit on... The internet produced by Subaraya Productions. It aired on Fuji TV from December 5th, 1971 to November 26, 1972. A total of 51 episodes. This was a Super Subaraya Productions first non ultra superhero, even though there were concepts that there were. Similar to Ultraman, which became Subaraya Super tra trademarks. Mirror Man was a dark and brooding science fiction drama that most of shows in its of its ilk, after major changes were forced upon the series by the network, became a typical action-oriented superhero adventure of its era. After years of sequel series rumors, the 2005 straight to DVC, DVD series Mirror Man Reflex was released and later com compiled into a film featuring no characters or connection to the old series. Reflex has a darker tone on par with the first half of the original television series. In July 2018, the series was released in the United States after 47 years on television channel Toku. A month later, the series added to its streaming platform. So, interesting. 
A lot of these superhero shows kind of had the same plot. You had a a leader that would come up with a different monster to fight the superhero every week, and they the uh, there'd always be a struggle with that with that monster, and ultimately the superhero would end up blowing up the monster they they get in a fight and then maybe knock it down a cliff or or what have you and the monster would explode that was that was a big big um, big ending to the to those shows it was like that with common Lida and all the various shows like ultra ultraman mirror man etc and i i do i do remember them selling the dolls of the various superheroes too they they show they show the head of the what the person that looked like and then the, their human face and then there'd be a they'd, they'd be holding a mask you put a mask on their on their face and and they'd be the the superhero uh, i've seen some of those things on for sale on ebay and they're getting they're getting close to a thousand dollars a a piece now um we used we used to have those and we ended up selling them all in a yard sale when we were moving. Had to, we had to get rid of stuff, and I remember some one one man bought them all. So apparently, you know, he had he had some he had some plans for them. But anyway, that's what I was able to find out on that on that show Mirror Man. I thought in, interesting piece of history, and and as a kid, it was it was interesting. A lot of American kids liked watching those shows as well as the Japanese kids, and. Like I've said before, I'm looking for ideas on shows to do in the future. My show is about preserving history, especially obscure aspects of history. And as always, like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching.